Mackie Motors in Lake City is the place to find new and certified used vehicles along with a knowledgeable and helpful sales staff. Find new roads at Mackie Motors in Lake City. Alexa Arnold for the IK Man and Wolves joining us here. We're at the Denison Slashwig Track Meet here today. Very good day for Alexa going on. She's actually got all four of her events done for the day, so she gets to kind of stay warm now the rest of this meet. Things got busy for you early, all four events here, and we're not even halfway through the track meet, so things started kind of with that high jump. How did that go today? Not as well as I'd like, but I got what I usually do, so that's not bad, but... Not as well as I usually could. 410, if I heard yep. correctly, a winning yep. height for you today. Yep. So um, how did things go for you getting up to 410? Clear everything on that first attempt? Uh, I think on 4-8, I missed, but my steps were off, so it was an easy fix. So then I got that, then I got that after that, and then I missed two on the 410, and then I cleared it on my what adjustments did you make on that 4-8 when you said the steps were um, off? How were they off for you? I had to step back. I was accelerating too much and not having enough room to accelerate. <laughs> but and then, yeah. and then on 410, you said you missed the first two. What was the difference on that third one where you got it? I just told myself I need to put it in gear and do it. <laughs> so then I just uh, put it in my mind that I needed to, which I should have done the first one, but <laughs> took me three. How close did you come to five foot, or did you go up above five foot and try that after winning at 410? I did five foot, and it was close. That was probably one of my best jumps was at five foot, but my heel hit it, so which was okay. Still one of the Still early in the year, still a cool night, so probably not yeah. totally stretched out. What's the goal for you in the high jump this year? I want to get 5-2, at least clear 5-2 so that I can tie with a score record. Who holds that right now, do you know? Ashley Hagedorn and Ashley Nepper are tied for okay. it, so a make a three-way tie. Pretty, pretty good athletes right yep. there, absolutely. Yep. Um, sprint medley as well, uh, yep. sounded like that went okay for you girls yeah, we tonight. Did pretty good in that Who all ran with you there? Uh, Maddie Schneider started it, then Amber Halber, then me, and then Bianca Kettle. Okay, so you ran the third leg, yep. um, the 200 there. Yep. How did that go for you? Not my best time, but I was running into the wind, so I'm not too bad about it. How bad is that wind tonight? Awful. Is it really? Bad. It's not as bad as the past couple of meets, but just have to adjust to it. And it's kind of bad when it's on the ending, the worst part. <laughs> but, yeah. How are the handoffs for everybody? Do you feel like handoffs are going yeah. well this part of the season? It helps that the same people that are in the spray motor and the D-Med, so it's the constant same handoff every time. So that helps a lot. So we're constantly practicing that. But How much do you guys work on handoffs, like in practice and even here um, while you're warming up? We do it before the meet, obviously, and like before we do our thing. And then at least once in practice, just to get a feel of it, which is nice. A lot the day before. How, how close were you guys uh, to, to moving up in the rankings on that sprint med? Was that a pretty tight race or were there some um, gaps? I don't remember, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not too sure on it. That was several races ago. 100 meter yep. dash. You brought home yep. another first place finish there, yep. I think. 1372, if yep. I remember right, was your time. Yep. How did you feel there? You looked strong. Yeah, that one was probably my better race. I had a lot of time between the sprint med and the mm -hmm. 100, but that was probably my best one. If I get out of the blocks good, I'm pretty solid, which is the, most of the races out of blocks. So if I can get out of the blocks right, that's the main thing. Good out of the blocks today, I take it? Yeah, yep, okay. yep. Felt strong out of them. Not really pushed during that 100, so how do you kind of push yourself to, to get a good um, time? Not going to lie, I thought someone was right behind me the whole time. <laughs> I really don't look just in, for that factor, but I don't know. <laughs> How'd you feel when you finished the, across the finish line? Pretty good? good. Pretty good, yeah. Okay. Probably the best I felt. After that. Distance medley, then your final race of the day. Didn't have a lot of time between no. the 100 and that distance I was bed. still breathing heavy when I started. I was going to say, how did you try to get yourself ready? Um, I just told myself I got to do it for my team. I have a team or whatever. And I don't know, just that. Mentally preparing myself like you're not tired, Alexa. And just push myself through that. What did you see from the first two girls in the distance med tonight? They did well. They got me. I think I got the baton. Like It's kind of hard to tell when you're there, but I think I got it in like fourth. And I got up to like second, but they did really well as well. Take us through that 400, especially having to run it kind of tired already. Oh boy. Okay, so I always start out a lot faster than I probably should. And I got to like the 200 mark, and I could feel it. I was dying. <laughs> but I just kept pushing myself through it, and I was like, got 200 left. And the wind sucked at the end, but just got through it that way. So what are you going to do the rest of the night now to kind of get kind of rested up? Um, go eat. <laughs> Be bundled up. and I have to take my sweats off anymore. Well, I tell you what, great job out here today. Thank Appreciate you. you joining yes, us. Yes, thank you so much.